Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stalosa and I'm joined by the... Uh, you, you've run out of words, um, haven't you? Um, illustrious, no, I'm, I'm gonna think so. magnificent, grandiose, illustrious, one among come many. On. Uh, uh, the one and okay, only. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. This idiot, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, <laughs> indeed, I'm joined by him again. So, Roadhog. We've got to talk about Roadhog because Roadhog has got a shed load of buffs on the PTR. Uh, and I've reached out to a couple of people. Uh, I got some comments back from Smex. Now, Smex is... One of the best hog players, uh, world renowned hog player. He's been at the top of the ladder whenever he decides to go there. Really, really good. Of course, he plays for the UK World Cup team as well. And I believe he plays for NRG, uh, their academy team. Uh, which, what are they? are they? I think they're just called NRG. I think, anyway, whatever. They play for the academy team for uh, Shock, San Francisco Shock. So he's a good player. So I said to him, you know, Smex, is this good or is this bad? But before he actually, or I tell you what his responses were, and then. We have a bit of a chat on what's going on with Hog and all that stuff. I should probably tell you what the changes are. So this is what they've done to Roadhog. Chain hook. Decrease the delay before pulling a hook target from 0.5 seconds to 0.3 seconds. So this is nice. Greatly reduces the target's momentum upon being hooked. Again, that's nice. Cool down now begins immediately instead of after the target has been pulled, which means more hooks. So that is nice. Scrap gun. Spread pattern adjusted for both primary and secondary fire and spread randomization reduced by 50%. And of course, this is the same for Reaper, which we will touch on him a little bit later on in the video. And then finally, whole hog. Knock back maximum velocity increased by 25% from 8 to 10 meters per second. Horizontal recoil decreased slightly. So before Smex, or I use some of Smex's comments, Josh, what do you think about this? Uh, I mean, he's he's needed buffs, but I I'm curious to see if these are the buffs in the right place. I mean, the hook hook to me has always felt like when you land it, you've killed the target no matter what. And I know people complain about Hog of like, oh, he used to be able to one shot people reliably, and now he doesn't really do that quite as much. But when you hook someone, at least if your teammates are semi decent, that person normally dies unless it's like a tank or something or a Moira with fade or a tracer with recoil. But if you hook someone, people usually shoot that target and they usually die. So I don't know if like making the hook better is really what he needs, but I'm curious to see what ends up happening. The the hook, uh, the whole hog horizontal. Oh, 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 I can't say horizontal apparently. Words. I know it's a, the difficult, despite being my profession. Horizontal recoil <laughs> decreased slightly is an interesting one, but I I guess it just makes it a little bit easier. To to, to keep that one under control and the whole hog like the knockback oh. maximum velocity increased in 25 percent is like it's melded with a bu uh, bug fix that means that people technically don't fly away quite as fast despite the patch note saying that they should fly away faster you just whole hog is better now is the gist of that yeah one. it's yeah i think like sometimes at point blank range according to smex anyway they would just launch into They'd space launch which, the, which, or yeah. The or yeah orbit <laughs> they go to horizon lunar colony uh, unless they're on that map in which case they go back to earth within, well, they might go to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh, they could go in any number of directions, not specifically Mars, but maybe that's where the next map is. It's not, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it's just better. Whole hog is better. It's easy to control. It's so, in theory, you do more damage, right? But like Josh said, it's not really that hard to control anyway. I don't think anybody was out there like, whoa, I'm a whole hog in. I can't bring it down. Ah! And then they don't hit anybody with it. No, I think they're hitting people with whole hog. All right. So... When I asked Smex, and I'm like, what do you think about this? Uh, he said it looks good, but what he likes the most is the fact that they fixed the momentum bug. I'm just going to cough, so I'm going to just walk away from the mic. Cover me. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> apparently they fixed... Oh, Jesus, he's dying. Well, the rips All die. Right, so, so yeah, they, they fixed the momentum bug. So, like I said, Whole Hog no longer launches people like a million miles an hour, super fast away. You're going to get a little bit more value out of that ultimate. Mm. That has always kind of been a tricky one. Like, Whole Hog has never been, you know, it's not Graviton Surge. Let's put it that way. It's, it's, well, not when even it's a used with Graviton Surge, it's quite good. Oh, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> good with that. But it's like. It's a situational ultimate that does decent damage, but also just it's really good for pressure. It's really good for making space. It's a very technical ultimate, and it's just a little bit better now, which I think Roadhog players will be quite happy about. Yeah, so he likes that. I think everybody likes that, so that's that's fine. Uh, on the hooks, now, he thinks uh, the hook might actually be better for the... Orissa grav combo or hook combo. Uh, I think this is to do with the fact that the hook now greatly reduces a target's momentum upon being hooked. So 
there are examples where if you're moving fast, so if you're like in Lucio or something, and you're moving fast and uh, maybe you are, let's think of a position. So you're on King's Row attack and you're on defense and you're the Roadhog and the Lucio is moving fast on top of the cinema. So you want to hook him. This is a really weird example. But you're going to try and hook. I was thinking of a place like a small wall. Mm. <laughs> so Lucio is running. So you try to hook him uh, and your hook connects to him. But he kind of conserves a bit of his momentum as he's going. And your hook just breaks. It's like, oh, that's unlucky. But the hook did land on him. In theory, now, this Roadhog, when the hook hits him, it doesn't reduce his momentum to zero, but it heavily reduces it. So it would hit him and then pull him, whereas it might have broken on live. So this is a buff to that kind of thing. So Smex was like quite interested in that. That could be really, really strong. And that's kind of all he really had to say about it. Like he, he thinks overall it's a good change. And I don't think we could deny that this isn't a buff. It is a buff. Mm. Um, we will get onto the scrap gun in a second, but I just want to read you a comment from Harblue. Now, Harblue, a very famous Roadhog player, a uh, very good Roadhog player as well. Uh, this is what he said on Twitter. He said, after testing and playing the Roadhog changes on PTR, Hog is back. He's not going to be a be perma run, and Goats still count as him pretty hard, but he'll be quite a bit more viable everywhere, and just importantly, a lot more fun to play. So, yeah, I mean, he's saying he's better, but... He's not going to be super must pick. Yeah, I'd you say know, he like, isn't going to be like a Reinhardt or a Winston, you know, in hook terms of tanks. Three point oh, baby! Like uh, hook two point yeah. was the the break in hook every single time, and like this is you know where that Arisa combo comes into it as well. Like the amount of times Arisa can pull people sort of up past a wall as well, like that first point Kings Row, you can pull people over the wall. Then if you land a hook on someone on the back of that, you're probably still going to pull them in, whereas before they drop a bit and then it'll break and then you'd feel really really bad. So I think they're trying to reduce that hook two point oh problem where it's like you know the original hook was just insane and just would hook people non-stop once the hook landed it would just guarantee you almost pull people in and it was crazy and sometimes you get maze like amazing graphical bugs as people spammed around all over the place but now it's going to be a little bit more reliable hook 3.0 i think is here and i do think it's going to just make roadhog feel a lot less frustrating when you land a hook you're going to be more likely just to pull them in regardless of what happens so that's going to be really really good for him i kind of agree with harblu whose assessment that it makes him better but my question is like does this fix what roadhog needs fixing mm. where it feels like Roadhog's big thing yeah you know, he doesn't really feel like he has a, a place super hard in the game at the moment. And I think Harblu's point where he doesn't counter goats, I think is like the, the real cornerstone here of like, if you want to have someone who is like this high damage shield break, high pressure hero, and it doesn't beat the tankiest, most durable comp, then suddenly there might be an issue here. Maybe he just, I don't know need something more reliable and speaking of reliability this is where these scrap gun changes come in well now his shot's going to feel a lot less random it's going to feel a lot less like you don't know how much damage each shot is going to be doing and if you can aim which a lot of these high level players you know they can do and you can yeah. hit like headshots with that you, then you're going to get actually a lot more reliable bang for your buck out of it it's going to feel a lot less you know when you're running past a roadhog and he just right clicks at you a couple of times and suddenly your head gets blown off you're going to be sort of more comforted with the knowledge that he actually probably aimed that shot a lot better rather than it just being oh well randomly the pellets all landed on your head this time and you exploded yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. I, I agree that this makes roadhog more fun to play roadhog feels a lot more snappier obviously with the hook it comes up faster. It actually, it is faster, the hook. It's much better. Like, it hits somebody in the straight away, they're coming towards you. It's only a 0.2 second reduction in the, the time to pull them when they're hooked, but it does feel a lot better. Uh, the weapon, less spread, less randomization. That's good. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good change. But I noticed when you gave your assessment of Hog, what he actually is, this high damage, shield-breaking, anti-tank fellow, or at least that's what he should be, you never said tank in any of that. And that's always been the issue for mm. me. He's not a tank, is he, Rodog? Like, what... How does he tank? Like, he's just a f fat guy that can stand in front of you. Like, he doesn't have any damage mitigation abilities, yet he's the tank. Every other tank in the game has well, a way. I just uh, want to just, damage, you know, right? cut off the comment of actually, he has damage mitigation on his on his take a breather, and therefore, yes, uh, that is personal damage mitigation, but self, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the way that okay. Roadhog tanks to me is like, like I mentioned, the, the concept of pressure, right? The idea that he yeah. creates a lot of pressure, it makes it very hard for people to move through areas because the, the hook is oppressive, it's like very, very difficult, you know, if you run through an area carelessly and there's a Roadhog there, you get hooked, you get killed. Right, that's sort of how he mm. tanks, and it's like a very nebulous thing. But it's it's how he does it. He pushes people away, he pushes people back, and he slows people down, slows down their movement and stuff like that. Where he just makes it, you know, you can't just run at a roadhog with a Reinhardt. You've got to keep your barrier up, or people get hooked, and then he breaks your barrier and stuff like that. So, 
he he can do that role. The issue now that he faces is like, well, now you have goats, and the teams are so tanky and so durable that he cannot break them. He cannot do anything but about that. But Torbjorn count as goats. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the most crazy. Yeah. Torb does not count as goats, ladies and gentlemen. When he's got his ult and he splurges all over the floor, yeah, it's decent, but... He has to get the ult, ladies and gentlemen. He's normally dead. If a big ball of tanks is running towards you at the start of the game, Torby can't stop that, and so he dies. So the next person that tells me Torb's account of goats, I will fight them in the street. Right, so let's talk about the uh, the weapon spread. Now, I made a video on, Ro uh, not Roadhog, on Reaper, um, showing the way this works in the game. And it actually means that Reaper is more skill-based and does slightly less damage at certain ranges because of the randomized spread, right? We've all been there and played Reaper. You're shooting at people and sometimes you'll instantly kill people and it's pretty funny. Other times you won't do nothing to them and then you die. Or you get into like a Reaper duel. You're firing at each other and it's like, who's going to die? Uh oh, he's got random spread so he's beat me. Now, it's much less of that. So if you're decent and you can aim, especially at close, like short to close range, um, or like I guess medium, short to close range, whatever, within five meters range, let's say, like 10 to five meters firing at somebody, if you've got better aim, you should, in theory, be better off. More towards the 10 meter range, I think the live version of Roadhog, uh, of um, Reaper, sorry, does a bit more. It's not consistent damage, but it's got more chance of doing more damage because of how random the spread is. But of course, now it's 50% less, which is, of course, the same situation that Hog finds himself in. But Hog, as the alternate fire, and this is his get out clause with all of this, Reaper doesn't have that. Hog is only using primary fire at point blank range, and he's going to want to be firing into your head most of the time. This means that more of his pellets will probably hit you in the head, so a good hog is going to kill you. Now, if you get hooked by hog, you're going to take a lot of damage anyway, right? If hog's on top of you, you're going to take a lot of damage. Hog's secondary fire gives him the option at, at sort of like 10 meters plus. That's where he's trying to get you with the, you know, the scrap ball to just explode on your head for the insta kill, or, you know, he's trying to burn down barriers or whatever. Reaper doesn't have that option. And I noticed a lot of comments were being sent to me uh, on Twitter and on YouTube and stuff. And it's like, well, Stai, this isn't really right because this reduction in randomization isn't a nerf to his damage. Because I was saying, like, this is a, a bit of a nerf to Roadhog's dam uh, to Reaper's damage and by proxy kind of Roadhog's damage. But you have to think where the damage is being done from. And I hope I've explained that right because it's a little bit complicated. Um, but I think the overarching goal of this change is to reduce randomization which i am happy about because nobody likes ran i mean th this is like a random crit right so he fires mm. at you oh god this time four of his pellets have hit me in the head but last time none of them did like that that doesn't feel great um and this gives sets them up in the future to make changes to these heroes that are more focused and less based on random nature right so you reduce the random spread and then you could do things like increase the damage of roadhog's primary fire or maybe you could do that to reaper i'm not saying that's a good idea to do but then that gives you more flexibility to do that yeah and it, it also means that you as a player when like roadhog pulls you you know that you you know oh on this hero i will survive the the shot to follow up so then i have a response i can then do something about that or every single time he's just going to kill you like you know what's going to happen so you, then you can make intelligent decisions about what you want to do next which you know will be naturally in that situation to do some sort of ability to get you out of that situation perhaps but you know what's happening that it's not just going to randomly oh well that time it just killed you oh this time it barely did any damage as all the pellets somehow miraculously spread around my body and made a perfect outline against the wall behind <laughs> me you know what's going to happen and therefore you can play around that you can try going for outplays you can try doing certain things and it also means that when you are a roadhog or a reaper player and you fire a shot if you aim the shot properly you know what's going to happen you're not just randomly firing right clicks at you someone. get the reward yeah yeah it's worth then developing that right click skill all the more because as you consistently shoot the the enemy tank in the head for example well then you're instantly going to be blowing them up winston's in particular landing those shots accurately is going to have a huge impact on Winston's. It's going to be pretty reliable on Reinhardt because his head doesn't move around too much. But like you're going to get value out of developing that skill and that's what you want out of Overwatch. You want to have the ability to get better at this game rather than just going, oh well I just fire shots randomly around his head and sometimes the pellets hit, sometimes they don't. Wah, wah, who knows what's going on. Now you yeah. know. Now you can actually develop this skill and that's pretty cool. So does this fix Hog? No. <laughs> <laughs> as, as we yeah. go through all this talk, I, don't, I really don't think it does. Um, I think the game is played at the moment at a pace that is just 
too fast for Roadhog almost, where it feels like, you know, everything is so mobile, everything is so aggressive, and you have heroes like Doomfist coming in, where, you know, Doomfist slams someone, and now he's so durable that he doesn't get killed by the hook, so the hook doesn't really do anything, it just sort of forces him to get out, and then he will hit the Roadhog anyway a bunch of times and build up a ton of ultimate charge. So he still has that core issue that he's kind of always had, which is that he just builds enemy ultimates. And he's a very, at the moment, he's just like very high risk, high reward. He pairs really nicely with Orisa. He has um, just different functionality in terms of creating pressure. But the game doesn't play slow enough where you need to like, oh, focus on shield break and focus on pressuring out tanks. That's not really how the game works at the moment. So you don't get that same value out of the hero. I, so, like, I mean, I, I agree with that. Like, I agree. Like, I, I look at Hog and he just feels like an old hero with no place in the game, <laughs> which sounds really harsh, but he feels like... Yeah, I, I, like, I want to highlight what, the... What you do, though? The, like, the, what, what... the strat that um, Philly Fusion sort of pioneered on Junkertown, right? Where they stopped running Boombox on Zenyatta. Single support, yeah. They yeah, okay. run him on Roadhog. And the reason why they did that is because, well, it's an Orisa versus Orisa map, and the Zenyatta can't really do much to the Orisa compared to what the Roadhog could do, which is just smash down the barriers, yeah. right? They brought him out purely for that function because that map played slowly, and so then he had a place in the game. So maybe Roadhog, you know, maybe he doesn't need fixing. Maybe he's just sort of biding his time and when the game revolves around a, a different meta then suddenly he will spring back in and suddenly he'll be really good again because then oh shield break is super important the ability to smash down barriers is super important there could be a new hero release that maybe say at blizzcon yeah. that involves barriers that where roadhog suddenly starts to shine again well, this is the problem, isn't it? Like, it, it, and it's always going to be the problem. We don't know what the plans are for Overwatch, so we don't know what the devs think about Roadhog. We don't know what's coming out around the corner. We don't know. Like, there's so much we don't know. And when we look at some of the changes, I mean, I look at these Roadhog changes, and I'm like, yeah, these are good. They're buffs. Makes his chain hook better. His scrap gun more reliable, and his whole hog is better. So these are buffs. He feels better to play than the current version on live. So this is great. But then I ask myself, does this solve his problem? And then the answer to that, as, as you very uh, adequately put, is no, it doesn't really solve his problem. So then I'm like, well, what actually do you do with Roadhog? But then the big question is, like, does he actually need anything doing to him now? Like, is it okay him being this niche pick, shield busting, tanky character? Is that okay for I, Hog? And I think that is kind of okay at the moment. Like, I think that... And he's not at the point where it's like, oh, he's been picked. Oh, God, someone's throwing, right? He has, has, he has that potential yeah, yeah, yeah. to get things done at the very least. But I remember having a discussion with a uh, good friend, Ryan, over at Overwatch Central a while back. And like we were discussing back and forth, like, who do you think is the weakest here in the game at the moment? I think I said Symmetra at the time. And I think he said Roadhog um, because Roadhog's just... He doesn't really fit into teams that sort of well, but my counter argument to that is that Hog Reaser is still really, really good. Still has a really, really good pick potential. It's very hard to push into that combo, and he he has his place on certain maps as well. Like you got to remember that you know Oasis, uh, not Oasis, um, Elio's well would not be the same. You know, yeah, Nepal yeah, Shrine yeah. wouldn't be the same if Roadhog wasn't just smashing people into pits all the time. So he yeah. has his place. And I think that this is a case where you could maybe try and introduce a couple of new things to him and maybe make him so that he doesn't give ultimate charge like, you know, he's, he's feeding like crazy. But maybe this is one of those cases where you just sort of let the hero exist for a little while longer, wait until the meta swings around or changes slightly, and then see what develops there. Because as he is now, I think he's... He does what he does, and he, he has a toolkit. The toolkit works, it's functional, it just doesn't suit the current game. Mm, I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you think about this in the comments below. Hog is an interesting subject to cover. If you're a Hog main, let me know what you think. Uh, if you hate being hooked, also let me know what you think as well, ladies and gentlemen. So I've been Salosa, and uh, this is the wonderful unit Lost, and I've been joined by the magnificent, or no, sorry, the illustrious, apparently. <laughs> or this idiot. I quite, I quite like this idiot. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, one amongst idiot. many. <laughs> yeah, you can follow us both on Twitter, of course. I am at one underscore amongst many, and he is at unit lost gaming beautiful and remember to click the bell as well guys if you want to be alerted to when new videos go live and we will catch you lovely lot on the next one toodaloo toodles